So this is an example I want to start today. Um, so this is again particle size distribution curve, and the difference here is instead of calculating all these coefficients and d values, for this example, we're going to obtain the percentage of gravel, sand, and fines based on the USCS system, the Unified Soil Classification System. And just as a quick review, uh, last lecture, we talked about two types of particle size classification systems. The first one is the ASHO system, and the second one is the uh, Unified Soil Classification System, which, as I mentioned, this is uh, required for this course. Okay. The USCS system, if you look at the classification, we have gravel, 76.2 to 4.75 millimeter, in sand, 4.75 to 0.075, and then anything smaller than 0.075 is classified as fines, which includes seals and clays. So that's the USCS system. And then we're going to use this system to end with that PSD curve to basically extract the percentage of different types of soils. For the USCS system, so the first thing given this curve is to identify these threshold green size values. So remember there are basically two thresholds, 4.75 which separates gravel from sand and then 0.075 which separates coarse from fines. Okay. And so if you first identify these two threshold values on this curve, uh, on this graph, and then if you draw a vertical line here for 4.75, so this, remember, this is gravel from sand. If you look at the y value here, okay. so remember the y-axis is percent finer. Okay. Uh, so for this graph, this PSD curve, you find that for 4.75 millimeter, the percent finer is 100%, which means 100% of soil particles are smaller than 4.75 millimeter. For this example here, 4.75, which means, remember in the USCS system, anything finer than 4.75 is classified as sand. Anything larger than that is classified as gravel, So, which means the percent of gravel Gravel is larger than 4.75. So again, gravel is larger than 4.75 and smaller than 76.2. 70, uh, okay. So percent of gravel in this case is 0%. We don't have anything larger than 4.75. 100% okay. is finer than 4.75. And then the percent of sand So to get the percent of sand from this graph, first we know sand is smaller than 4.75 and larger than 0.075. So that's the second key value. Is this 0.075. And for this 0.075, if you read from graph, this is about 62%. So 62% of the soil is smaller than 0.075. Therefore, the sand is basically 100% minus 62%. So we have 38% sand. So basically that's the soil particles in between this 0.075 and 4.75, so that's sandy soil in this sample. And then anything smaller than 0.075 is classified as fines, which is basically seals and clay. So anything smaller, so that's on this side, that's fines. And this value is 62%. Again, from this graph, we know 0.075, the percent 
smaller percent finer is 62%. So 62% of the soil in this sample is smaller than uh, 0.075. So they are classified as fines. So that's this example. So how you can obtain different percentages from this uh, given PSD curve. 